what is going on guys in today's video we are talking bitcoin and we are talking twenty thousand. that's right so as you guys can see over the over this week look at this crazy movement that we've had right here so we're talking about this breakout right here that we talked we spoke about yesterday then we're also going to be speaking about the possibilities and trade setups that you could be setting up here over the weekend to hopefully be able to enter in a profitable trade and make some money there then after that then we're also going over trades in ethereum bitcoin cash litecoin xrp chain link tezos neo and so on so stay tuned guys let's get into it all right guys so the first thing that we're going to be talking about of course is bitcoin the king of crypto right so we spoke about this bull flag yesterday and look at that we had the exact breakout that we said that would happen you know eventually uh, according to this pattern right so we've had all these bull flags during throughout this whole run right we had the pennant here pennant here continuation pennant continuation up so um we're expecting here probably some uh, consolidation here over the weekend since as, as we know um, Bitcoin uh, over the weekend it, just in crypto in general there's not a lot of volume um, last weekend we saw a whole bunch of consolidation during the weekend uh, we could expect maybe some more of the same we might consolidate here in that eight in this 18,000 range um, but um, if we do continue up, then we have a few trade setups uh, in mind to take as much advantage of that as possible, right? Um, so you always want to be ready. So um, for now, we just got to assume that this is a range right here. Um, this is 18,000, what was the high? 837 and the low is 18,451, right? So we're going to be looking at those two ranges just to kind of give us an idea of, of the different levels we should be playing. If we have some consolidation, uh, it should we should expect it to be between those two ranges, right? So if we look at this, uh, this consolidation here after the move up, it pretty much consolidated within this first candles range, right? The other consolidation was right here. So we could expect to possibly now this could all change of course uh but we could possibly kind of do the same thing here so that's currently what we're gonna be uh running with and then if something different happens over the weekend then we'll have to adjust our plan um so for right now um the trade setups that we're looking for here uh we're looking for possibly for for this to go back down down here right so we would like to probably get something in the eight 18,500 range that's probably the ideal area for us currently at this point in time um, but we don't just want to try to catch it while it's dropping like it is right now uh, the ideal scenario would be for it to drop down um, kind of like it did right here where maybe it test is like 480 470 475 whatever it might be um, and then pops right back up like it did on just exactly how it did on this candle so that pop back up, that's where you want to buy. As soon as it crosses back over 500 with a, with a little bit of momentum, that's kind of where we're looking to enter that trade, right? Um, and then kind of try to ride it as long as possible, possibly to the uh, top of this range. But, you know, because we figure that it's going to be going down like this, uh, we have to set, you know, uh, targets before that. So uh, the way that we're going to take pro uh, profits here We'll be looking to just take simple profits right we want to we want to take the the basically we want to jump in around 500 you know right above 500 as soon as it pops over 500 we want to take that and then we want to start taking profits at 600 we want to take some at seven and then we want to take some at eight because eight was the last one where it got rejected so we don't know if it's going to reach eight again so that's why we're taking profits along the way um just in case it does get rejected again we trail out and we try to pick up the same trade again. So that's basically the whole plan for over the weekend, right? That we're looking at this range that it's currently in. We're trying to buy that bottom and sell at that top. So um, if we just kind of try to to guess, right, um, where that range is going to be, it will probably look something like this. You know, um, 
so so this is kind of the range where you'd be looking to play so you'd be looking to you see here that 500 area would be the place to enter and you'll see that towards 800 as the closer we get would be the place to sell so over the weekend you can expect maybe some consolidation within these this range and then it might tighten up as you know as we get close to sunday and then maybe sunday afternoon uh when the markets open up when china wakes up um you know we can get some more volume pumped in and then we might see some sort of movement here either up or down um due to the pattern we expect it to go up and we might expect you know this consolidation period here and this last bull flag to be what pushes finally pushes bitcoin to its previous all-time high so we still have that 19,000 um uh psychological whole numbers uh resistance there right so we're gonna have to get through that and and i expect a lot of sellers to be there um and once and now another thing is what happens once we do get to that uh all-time high right so um what i'm expecting when we do reach that all-time high is that we will get rejected i expect a full rejection um there's gonna be i'm sure a ton of sellers are gonna come in everybody's gonna be trying to sell at 20 at 20,000. so the idea is to to sell before 20,000. you want you don't want to get caught up in that and if it goes above 20,000, then you enter again right so um what i'm doing my strategy is as soon as you know to sell continue to sell until we break that 19,000. above 19 i'm buying again i'm entering new positions with a tight stop um and then the close uh, you know as it goes up i'm just selling 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 right uh i want to be completely out maybe just have 25 percent of my position by the time we would hit that all-time high um and then if we do break above that 20k then i can enter brand new positions here but i do expect a lot of volatility at 20,000, a lot of selling and definitely rejections that's just usually how the markets work. You know, um, it's very rare to see uh, something test an all-time high and just go straight through it. Um, it the, the most likely scenario is to get rejected at the all-time high prices. So uh, expect that and be ready for that, guys. We could see a lot of volatilities. We, we could see a lot of, you know, there, there, could, there could be a lot of different scenarios. Remember in 2017, there were like 30 percent drops we haven't had anything like that so far in this run um so you know we we don't know what might happen so we're just playing it trying to play it as safe as possible we're going to play the price action we're not going to try to make predictions and just go from there another thing to note here um although you know we're seeing all this bullish movement you guys have to keep in mind something that we found here right so this is a lower high and a higher high right however down here on the rsi we have a higher high and a lower high so these two things are currently going against each other you can you know draw it out and everything you know whatever it is you want to do here you know you could draw these out so you see bitcoin the price is going up while the rsi the momentum indicator is going down so remember last time we spoke about momentum and uh, the RSI uh, bearish divergence and stuff like that, what they mean, uh, these two things are not in agreement. So when they're not in agreement, usually what it means is that a, some sort of pullback or consolidation period is coming. Um, usually means that something has to change because these two need to be on the same page, right? So it could be, you know, just a pull back down here, back to the 18,000 area or something like that. Um, but just something to keep in mind while making these trades uh, so that you don't over position, over leverage. And then, you know, there's a big drop without, you know, while you guys are stuck in a position. So make sure you're using tight stop losses. Make sure you're being very careful where you're entering um, and, and don't try to catch, you know, falling knives. That's always my my biggest thing that I tell people. That's a major thing to note there. There is an RSI bearish divergence, all right? So um, the trade setups are like I told you guys, we're playing the same range here over the weekend. Um, it, ha it did it the same thing kind of last weekend where, where it kind of just ranged within, you know, that area there. Um, I think it was over here. Um, so we could possibly expect that same thing. Um, so just 
we'll be watching th these ranges. We'll be looking to buy towards 500 on the way up though, not on the way down. And uh, we will be looking to buy a breakout above 18,800 possibly. Um, but the main breakout buy would be above 19K. So, um, so it just all depends how you wanna play it, right? Um, and we already told you how we're playing the all time high once and if we do get back to that level. Um, so let's jump into Ethereum. We're at the 10 minute mark. I wanna try to get through these real quick. Um, so Ethereum finally broke to that major, major $500 level. Um, if we go to, you see it's consolidating now, there now. Um, and you see that this bull flag was the same way, right? Um, and you, you do see here that there's not really any divergence. So it's, it's a lower high and then it's a little bit higher, but it's still, it's big enough where there's not, there's no divergence. Um, but if we go to like the monthly and zoom out a bit, all right. Um, you see that there's really no resistance here. Look at this after we took off past 400. Well, this one was past 400 basically, but let's see the 500 level. So after we took off, so we got rejected there at 500. Then once we broke 500, look at this candle. We, we went all the way up to seven to 800, 900 almost. Right. Um, so that's, that's one of the things I'm looking at. Um, and then when we dropped, let's see when we dropped here, <clears throat> we bounced at eight again. We came, when we came back up, we came back up to about like almost 700, um, back down. So I'm trying to look at the history to kind of get an idea of what we could expect. There's no major resistances here after that 500 level. So, um, we can possibly over the next week, see Ethereum shoot up finally. Um, not finally, cause look at this, it's shot up a lot already this month, this month it's up 31%. Um, but we can possibly see Ethereum jump up, you know, to 600 and beyond at this point, you know what I mean? So 600 is really the only next, um, you know, resistance that we're looking at here. Uh, and it's, it's a resistance cause it's a whole number, right? Um, so what we're looking here is kind of the same thing. We're looking to buy above this, this, uh, current high and, or as close to 500 as possible, which is the bottom of this range. So we'd be looking to enter either as close to 500 as possible on the bounce up or a breakout above this high. So because the high is so close to 520, I would, I'll be using 520 as my entry marker. Um, for an Ethereum new breakout trade. Uh, however, I am currently in a trade. Uh, we used 500 as that marker right here, and you'll see how we broke above that. So that's currently a trade that we're in, and that's the next uh, entries that we're looking for, um, for new trades in Ethereum. Um, Bitcoin Cash, finally we had some movement as well over this week, um, and we see a bull flag right here. So we have a mini bull flag here on the four hour mark. Um, you know, here, uh, you could probably same thing, kind of play this range, right? So, um, it's here where, remember what, when we posted this, it's exact, exactly right back there in this spot. So that could be, uh, something that you use for entry there, or you could just use, um, the high, the recent high here. Uh, so above 260, you can use above 260 for an entry. Uh, for pullbacks, you could probably look at, you know, somewhere at 254, 255 range uh, for an entry. And again, you want to see this go down and then bounce back up and you want to buy it on the bounce up. Um, Litecoin is next. Litecoin, finally, we've been having some movement here. Uh, it finally shot up from our buy range. You see that we told you guys uh, above $60 was that range. Uh, it shot up, came right back down, tested it one more time, shot up. Uh, had a little bull flag here shot up another little bull flag so we can probably possibly expect another shot up that and it's and the next shot up could lead to that hundred dollar mark um so i'd be looking to enter above the, this previous high for a breakout trade which is 86 dollars um or you could buy at this low of the range which is around 80 dollars right so um those are the two trade setups that i'd be looking at in litecoin um xrp we can see here XRP, kind of the same thing. 
um, you know, it shot up, it kind of consolidated a bit, boom, shot right back up. And now it's currently at 32.50, right? So, um, so we had some trade setups here as well. Uh, our trade setups, I, and I think we spoke about it on here, was above 3,100. Um, so you see this clean breakout above 3,100, and we hit our basically the majority of our targets here on this move. Um, so that was another big move here. Uh, I think we spoke about this trade on Monday, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to enter this. So we entered this trade and we signaled it in our trading room. Uh, as you can see, a very profitable trade here. Um, so we are seeing, it seems like maybe a little bit of divergence here. Let's, let's take a look here. So I'm looking at the highs here. Yeah, so on this four hour chart, we are seeing a bit of uh rsi divergence here as you guys can see on xrp so keep that in mind as well when trading this um, make sure that you're taking profits make sure you're keeping your your stop losses tight um just to be safe um so the trades that we're, we're looking at here the next breakout trade will probably be above that 33 cent mark um for pullbacks i'm probably looking around that 31.50 mark maybe 32 cents um but again i would like to see it come down and then bounce back over and i would be buying that bounce um what's next chain link let's see what, what's been going on with chain link uh you know as we told you guys many many times over this was a buy area here boom look how that shot up and now it's currently at 14 dollars. so if you guys bought this congratulations uh, if you bought at that $10 mark, congratulations. If you bought at that recommended $7 mark, which we recommended you guys back here in September, um, congratulations, because that's 100% profits. From if you bought here and sold it up here, you're 100% profits, congrats. Um, if you bought uh, down here at this $10 mark, you should be at around 40% profits right now. Um, so on this trade, if we're looking for new entries here, um, we'd be looking kind of the same thing above this high. So this high looks like it got rejected at 1450. So above 1450 is where we'd set our breakouts. Um, and then our support entries would probably be around the $14 range. Um, those would be the two setups I'm looking at over the weekend. Um, next, Tezos. Not much going on with Tezos, guys. Uh, I'm not really feeling this one. Um, yeah, it, it, the entries would be above 220 probably uh, for a breakout entry. I'm not buying anything below that. Um, Neo, Neo finally getting some traction, getting some movement. So we spoke about the $16 range. We spoke about this $15 to $16 range. You see that breakout pullback and then continuation up. Um, so that was the entry that we spoke about. Uh, the next entry will be above this high. So because this high is so close to 17, I'd be setting my breakout entries above 17 uh, for a pullback. I'm not really looking for a pullback entry, but if I was, I'd probably be looking around the $16 range. Um, take a look at futures. Futures, everything seems good. Uh, no you know, gaps or anything like that we got to worry about right now. Uh, Cardano, I'm not doing anything in Cardano right now. Uh, Doge, nothing going on in Doge, and EOS. EOS finally got some movement as well. Um, if you're looking for trades here, I'm looking for something above 285 probably. Um, and for pullbacks, I'm probably looking around the 275 range. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I think we covered everything here. Uh, we spoke about, um, you know, did the analysis on Bitcoin and we've given you guys trade setups on both Bitcoin and some of the other coins that we're watching. So, uh, these, these are the trades we're watching and looking at over the weekend. These are the trade setups we we're looking at over the weekend. Uh, hopefully this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, as always drop it in the comments. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. Enjoy your weekends. Be safe, stay healthy, Corona free, and I will see you guys on Monday. Peace and love.
Remember guys, Bybit is currently having a special for anyone that's leaving BitMEX. That's right, you know what, what's going on with BitMEX. They have that KYC. You gotta give them your social security number, your address, your credit card numbers, your life and your soul. So right now we have switched over to Bybit and we recommend that you do the same. If you're interested in trading on Bybit, all you gotta do on this video or any other video, just go ahead and click the video, sure to go to the bottom like of, the of the video and in the comments you'll see the pinned friends, by family, Bitcoin daily, right? We pause this because it's plain. Uh, all you gotta do is go ahead and hit boom right there. Once you hit that, it's gonna bring you up to this page. You're just gonna create your free account. You can create it using email or mobile, whatever you like. And then once you create it, you're gonna go ahead and come over here to the promotions tab, hit rewards hub. And once you're in rewards hub, you're going to type in very simply, win 500. Then you're gonna hit redeem. Once you type it, make sure to type it with all capital letters, money sign 500, hit redeem, boom. And then you can see right here, it says, thank you for participating in Bybit's bonus giveaway. So they're giving away $500 bonus. You still have, you have until December 10th, 2020, uh, for your net deposit to accumulate additional bonuses, you will receive your rewards within 15 working days after the event ends. So that means that on Christmas morning, you will receive your bonus. Okay, and all you gotta do from there is hit deposit now. Now remember, uh, also if you use our link, you're supporting our channel, which we are very, very grateful for. So thank you guys so much, enjoy your day.